All right, guys. So here we are. Welcome to the grand finale of Horizon Forbidden West. These moments are always bittersweet, as you all may know. It's always the same thing when we come across a really good game. It's exciting. It's it's sad. It sucks, but it's good. It's bittersweet. I'm actually really nervous. I'm really scared. I don't know who's going to die. People got to die. There's no way people don't die. People have already died. And if you've been keeping up with the series, you know who's died and who stayed. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, dude. This is getting crazy. But uh, we are now here at Tilda's place, which, yeah, she was what, like a trillionaire or something. I mean, this house in its day must have been something to die for. Like, I mean, absolutely incredible. Seriously. Um, over there, we have a crazy looking base, which I want to say it's probably where we're going to be headed soon. Now, today's quest is called the Wings of Ten, and it says Aloy has a plan to end Regala's rebellion. Defeat the Zeniths and rescue Beta and Gaia. But first, she must reunite with her companions and lay a dear friend to rest. All right, so this is where we're at right now on the map, right? And we have to go all the way over here to the base. We're going to go ahead and fast travel. And we're going to get started. So we, we technically have two more quests, two missions left. And um, I'm just going to do both of them here. You know. I'm just going to do both of them here. I thought I felt the same too. I appreciate any support you guys have been showing the series, man. I know it's been a long one. And just, uh, I just really appreciate it. So I truly, truly thank you guys for all the love and support you guys always always show the channel and the, and, and the videos. We, we play so many games here that I don't know how we're still going. So thank you. A like on this one would really mean a lot. It's the last one. And, uh, yeah. So. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey, can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there i know go stand with hikaru and keep an eye on the sky strike true as the ten the rest of you whatever preparations you need to make upgrades resupplies get on it it won't be long before we take the fight to the zenith we'll be ready Aloy. and when you're ready Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. 
Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith <laughs> bastards? We all are. Good. <laughs> I love this dude, man. <laughs> Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Okay, so we're gonna go to Zoe now. Um, I think we now have the... Uh, we've officially unlocked that thing to override. Oh, we don't have it here. Hold on. I got some of the stuff here. Oof. A lot of goods. That supply always comes in handy. I'm starting to wonder, man, can I just like fast travel somewhere, come back here, and then automatically just restash up on that supply crate? Because let me tell you, dude, that thing is always stacked. So I just wanted to come here really quickly and uh just kind of restock some of the things. I've interacted with almost everything here, so it's fine. We're gonna head outside now. We're going to war, boys and girls. We're going to freaking war. Oh, there she is. Man. Why do people gotta die, man? Over here, Aloy. Jesus. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Huh. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. That's freaking sweet, man. That's that's sweet as hell, dude. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that was really nice. As roots rot in snow. Still the sea rises. And so From death follows new life. So it is with the land. Yeah. And so it is with us. I'm with child. I, dude, I freaking knew I was gonna call it right now, man. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Oh my God. And instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. Oh, dude, come on. I'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Didn't I call it on the like two episodes ago that we're gonna have an infant? And I said, I don't want an infant in this group. I'm gonna exile you. And uh, well, now we have an infant. Goodbye, Farl. We have his child. I promise to look after them. 
Dude, what the hell? No way. That sucks. Man, I'm such a good character. Like the dude was really one of the best characters. Like you, I, I try to visit again <laughs> when I can. I'm not gonna cry, man. Fuck that. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. And I know I use it on a Sunwing. And we're ready for an entrance with all of them. Oh, we're gonna be able to team with Sunwing. Yes. I knew it when 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 Beta gifted us that little hologram i'm like ah oh, dude there's no way we've seen it in the trailers there's no way we're not gonna be able to ride a sunwing and uh well here we are <laughs> man it's going down wait where is it i just know they meant a lot to you and uh well they were talking about him i think <laughs> Let's go! A flying machine that absorbs solar energy and it is often found in groups. It has a variety of plasma attacks while its energy shields and maneuverability make it hard to hit. They are hard to kill indeed as well. So we've unlocked it. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. Isn't there a sunwing? I oh, think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. There's a sunwing around here. I know there is. We, we've, we've killed a couple of them. And the first one that we killed was right above here. Right where we're at, actually. Okay, I need to find a sunlight to override. Better head up the mountain. Oh, yeah, they they were here, indeed. For sure there was something here. And that's so sad that this uh Varro actually I knew it was gonna happen. It's like, dude, they've got their own room together, they've got a bed. You know. <laughs> world is kind of dying there's no way they're not going to reproduce man it's this human nature <laughs> poor dude what a great character okay so it's cracking from the cold oh god there they are there they are little sun wings huh Good. There are some wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Dude, that's crazy. They're like giant birds. That's insane. So I could go for this one. But if I go for that one, then the other ones are going to spot me. So I might go for the one all the way at the back. I wonder if there's another cauldron with override data on that one. Desert clan village. Maybe I should check in on it after I've dealt with Regala. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. Fly to the tonic. This one right here. Oh, this is the, the one that we couldn't get, remember? We're like, oh, dude, how do we get it? I thought it was going to be some sort of, like, uh, tool or something. There's a tonic. Need to get on top of its head. But no, it was a freaking bird. <laughs> Time to uh, start to slow down and hover in place. Oh, how to land this thing. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. 
Wow, dude. We made it. Man, this is awesome. Bro, you get literally go right a fucking bird. That is so sick. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on Ahuras. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want help. Okay, so left and right, select the Sunwing. Look at it hovering there, just chilling, dude. It's just waiting for me. It's waiting for it. To, it's waiting to be summoned by its master. <laughs> whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa! I'm used to that. Dude, that should actually grab me. Oh, it's a little. Huh. I do say so myself. It's a little. Uh, a little intimidating. Okay. Like, I wish we would have... Is that a cave there? Damn, it is. I mean, I understand it. You know, doing this now at the end of the game, it's more like impact was like, wow. Like, we're really at, you know, we're really at peak levels right now. But being able to unlock this through a mission earlier would have been super cool. Like, uh, okay, no, okay. I was wondering if I was able to use my, my arrow. That's right, she's flying, all right. Look at that shit. That is massive. Dude. Where's the energy cell? <laughs> I don't have a back. I will pick it up. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. Pulse from Tolmec should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from the Harris I fly to. Pretty useful. Even after I deal with Rebella. Now we know why this, uh... Now we know why this mission is called the Wings of Ten. be greatly used to unlock several areas of the map, you know? Right. The way the world renders. Really good. Got the energy. Oh, they've got the freaking mammoths. Oh, dude, those are horrible. They're horrifying. horrifying. I hate it. The one that we fought. all over chaplain i gotta drop it now here it goes combat now, suckers! It's Aloy. She flies in the wings of the ten. The tide has turned. Push through! <laughs> Bro, this game, dude. Fuck. If you don't give this game anything above a nine, I don't know what to tell you, dude. I, I just don't know what to tell you. Like, I really don't. End of the line, Hakon. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. 
They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> surprise, surprise! Biatch! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. <laughs> you and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. Which is what you've been doing the whole time. What a hypocrite, dude. I swear. Man, I hate this chick. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. This fight is just beginning! Hey, relax, bro. Oh, she's weak against, uh, hold on. She's weak against, uh, <laughs> oh, of course. Of course I would have to reload. Hold on to me. Oh, I was able to reload, nice. I will do what has to be done. <laughs> Bro, you messed up. I'm sorry, but you done fucked up. Yo, she's going crazy on me, dude. Here we go. It's showtime. Right. Like that? Hey, we can do melee attacks here all day long, sweetheart. Oh, oh, come on, man. All right, so that's how it's going to be. Bro, come on, what are you doing, Regala? You're trash. Look at you, you're embarrassing yourself. Hold on. Is this how you give up your life? <laughs> oh god, she hit me with the same thing. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is literally my game. I mean tears of salt when they should stand rivers of <laughs> Do we keep shooting here from here or what's the deal? Oh, nice. Nice shot there. Hopefully I don't run out of arrows. That would be embarrassing. Done, sweetie. No! Ah! <laughs> Almost got me killed. Not even get alive. Probably shouldn't be laughing. Oh. Ow. Don't give up the pain. Use it. You just pinched my butt. What are you doing? Man, you gotta be dumber than dumb. If you <laughs> Shut up, woman. 
we're getting destroyed. Look at that, I'm bobbing and weaving. Really? Gosh. Oh gosh. Yes. That's right. Oh, that felt really nice. All right, come here. We got a little surprise for you. Come here. Oh, shoot. All right, calm down. Calm down. Oh! You know what, dude? I try to wait for you to get here, and that's it. Actually, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm going to finish your ass off. There we go. Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, <laughs> traitor. Why she gotta be so mean? It was you who flew in on the wings of the ten. You who challenged her by our rights, you must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. I would spare her. She think. was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. Ooh, shut up real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save her. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Let's go. Meet us at our stronghold in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, stated. It's for her alone. From an interested party. Would that be... I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala soldiers. I'll see you back at base. Interesting. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. 
May it keep you safe. Thank you. I love the colors in this outfit, man. Really, really nice. Really nice. Do I you have it. any idea what you just done? I knew it. I knew it. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we were up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. <laughs> we're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. Then why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base, mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Yeah, I want to meet a person, not in the metaverse. Stinking man. <laughs> I love it. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. We've got a new face fly. paint. I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. We've got a new face paint. And uh, we've got the last and final mission called Singularity. Which is, uh, oh boy. I think um, we got a new armor as well. Didn't we? Let me check that. First, let's go to, let, hold on. Let's go to, um, let's go to skills here. Um... I'm gonna go to should we do infiltrator? Let's let's check out the infiltrator tab here. Deal more range damage while in stealth. Sharp shot bow. Fire powerful shots from a kneeling position that explodes on impact. Uses three arrows of a currently selected type and depletes a large amount. Actually sounds pretty good. Recover weapon stamina and earn additional valor. Oh nice. The silent strike. Melee attacks are quieter, reducing the chance of being detected by enemies nearby. And we don't have any more. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go to the inventory. And... Oh, shoot. Low health melee. Melee damage. Hmm. Machine health. Lasting override. This looks nice, bro. Damn, we didn't have a... Modification on this one? Let me equip this for a little while and then we'll, we'll kind of go and equip something else according to whatever it may be later on. Melee defense. I'll go with that. This is nice, dude. Oh, wow. This is a nice outfit, dude. Mm. And it still matches with my face paint, which is pretty cool. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Hey, uh, Mr. Know It All is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. I love how the game hinted that Silence was going to be the enemy. He ended up not being the enemy. I love it. Well, Silence, <laughs> looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company we keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. 
No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. <laughs> Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Oh my Good timing. god. The truth is... <laughs> wow. I can't actually get us into the base. But... <coughs> she can. Bro. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. <laughs> Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Got a whole army behind us now. And you're this man with the sickest back bling in the game. Let's go. <laughs> that would have been a cool, cool Fortnite Horizon crossover. A little back bling, you know. Too cringe, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right. So turn to the base. Everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Hold on, let me... Where's that chest that we were talking about earlier? That always got the goods. Every time I come here, dude, it's, it's stacked. I love it. Gaia's not here anymore, so... Okay. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? Let's do this. All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. We're going to war. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta. Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location, undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure, the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood?
you two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Hmm. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Trust anybody, man. Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Oh no. I got enough trouble with Katalo. Always kicking my ass. Did you need something? Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. <laughs> and as it seems you have found modest success, perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Look at the hair in his arm, dude. Holy smokes. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zeniths from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakhs to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch-up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be... extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice, no matter how necessary. Thus... I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation at the Hades Proving Lab. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset, thereby keeping you out of harm's way and, more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? <laughs> well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. That doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. I can respect that. 
Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades in the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans. All while remaining anonymous. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. Hmm. This man is a genius. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quem. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quen I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain. <laughs> like what you did with Hades. For a start. <laughs> oh. All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities. Well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Mm. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it... a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. <laughs> oh my god. This girl, bro. See if we can speak to are. her. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure Silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of. He's got the art on the wall. <laughs> I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Oh, wow. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. Okay. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. 
but as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you, to do right by her. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depths. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Hmm. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. <laughs> she was brilliant, visionary. She cared so deeply for the world, for the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think in the end, she had a core that she never let anyone be part of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the proving lab after Farzineth's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time. Thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. I don't know, man. This chick just looks evil, dude. Like, I want to like her, <laughs> but she just looks evil. You said before that you're not like the other Zeniths, that you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival. Both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Hence the data channel with Beta the secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. What else can we expect to find in the Zenith base? As I mentioned in the briefing, our goal will be the command center. That's where Beta and Gaia are being held. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. Mm. In addition, they've also been ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space-worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment. We've learned our lesson. So, Eric... Was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? I believe he got worse over time. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. Mm. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated warfare. He found success with clientele that required a more 
personal touch. There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. I think we... You were told but us. on Sirius, he retreated to virtual reality simulations. No, she didn't. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. Yeah, the man's got issues. Gerard. What can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate, and as such, had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on Earth, and certainly the wealthiest among Farzineth. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. <laughs> Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician, able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to her digital educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough, and the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. Stanley Chen. When I was in the ruins of Vegas, I found data on a man named Stanley Chen. Yes, yes. I think he was a Zenith. Stanley, ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas in virtual reality. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth? No, he perished when our colony was destroyed. Oh, wow. He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city survived. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths, Verbena. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had wow. achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette, branding herself a life designer. Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What? Like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess. All selfish and ruthless to the core? <laughs> Most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Merjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self hollows. <laughs> when I think about all of us, we hollows. really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. It's true, dude. These people are immortal. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields en masse. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. 
I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once, I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. I want to say the last person we have to speak to is Aaron. Hey, Lloyd. Aren't we meeting at the beach near the Zenith base? We are. I just wanted to check in on everyone first. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. This man better not die. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, uh, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. <laughs> They'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. <laughs> with the Zeniths. <clears throat> Looking forward to it. We're trying to read, is man. <laughs> you look tired. Ha! You never want to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Errand. Is there more for training? Faro made the right call. You know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink. Just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. How you helped us. You know, we <clears throat> never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. <laughs> and you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got around to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. <clears throat> if you're up for it. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. <laughs> hmm. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? We're getting on the job, yeah. Aloy? I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Drawn's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Hmm. Thinking somehow that was going to appease all the other deranged machines in the world? <laughs> ah. And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the Mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. <clears throat> how are you telling me something about that? That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so... <laughs> He got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. I get perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh, man. Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. 
But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. <laughs> she made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. <laughs> that would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. That's awesome. <clears throat> you were right. That was a story best told over the drink. All good stories are. All right. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't know who else. I wonder if I have to just finish the conversation with Second Eren. Up. Hold on, let's see. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, <clears throat> he's got something we need. Okay. See, we keep having these exclamation marks, which probably means... Do you think so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. Do I smell ale? I brought some over from Chain Scrape. And with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. Yeah, we just drank, man. Relax. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. <laughs> Not for eating, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I asked if it'd be interested in playing a game of Strike. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. She took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. You've been looking at any interesting data? Yeah, I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. <laughs> Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. Save my butt with those spectres. Wouldn't feel right to leave it behind now. 
Now, besides, it uh, now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. <laughs> There's a lot of dialogue. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to get it all out. What you reading next? I saw a guy added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. I should get going. I can't wait to kick some Zenith ass. Alright, well. I guess that's enough talking for now, right? That's fine. We did enough. I think we've done our parts. <laughs> let's just... Let's get down to business. Alright. Go to the rendezvous site. And where is that exactly? Holy cow. So what I'm going to do is what any smart person would do. I am going to travel right here. And I just used the fast travel pack for no reason. I had a freaking campfire right there. But I'm an idiot, so it's okay. I will call upon my... Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh god. And then I'll use this to fly over, of course. Dude. I'm never going to get tired of flying in this thing. I mean, this is the ultimate mount. Literally the ultimate mount. This is incredible. I mean, it's, it's not like super fast. But the fact that we can just hover over everything, it just makes it super convenient. See, most games have like horses and cars and but not horizon horizon's got a damn dinosaur it's technically a dinosaur machine dinosaur which is fucking great Yo, this place looks insane, bro. Dear God. Okay, can I, uh... Woohoo! That's right, I forgot we could do this. I should take care of everything I can before Man. calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. If you proceed past this point, you'll be locked to Singularity. Let's do it. Ah, this is crazy. Leave for now. Call for companions. No way back. Let's do it. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. So beautiful. Hey, Lord. Where are the others? Not far behind. I'd be worried there for a sec. Egghead here <laughs> couldn't stand traveling with the pack. And of course. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. Okay. 
an ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Wow. That is nutty. Wow, that is crazy Shall cool. We? Oh my god. I need some of those powers right now, girl. I'm telling you. Pretty sure they'll come in handy. Everybody comes walking and shit. She comes here flying. I wish there was a less <laughs> pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys? Take the high ground, in case we need cover and fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Please don't die, Aaron. <laughs> Please. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Look at all the loot they're giving us already. We haven't even started, man. Oh, boy. You know I'm going to take all of it, right? I mean, there's just, just no denying that. Maybe the wood, I'll probably skip a couple, but but, but as far as regular resources and components... Be wary, boy. Spectres ahead. I'm going to make a run for it. Oof. I guess some of the ridge wood we don't need. That's the track. That's its path. So I'm gonna hide here. I'm gonna wait for it to go all the way back there. And I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna plant three of the, two of these, and one explosion. Do I'll I even have enough time to do so? I don't think I'll have enough time. Maybe I will. I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that's a perfect fucking trap right there. Aaron, you're gonna need to get the fuck out of there. That's gonna blow. Ooh. Yes. Ravage your weapon right there, too. There's no way that shit doesn't die. Come on. It's weak against poison. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Are we gonna attack or what? Oh shit. Hold on, the other one saw me. Oh my god. Alright, can I craft another one of these? No. How about another acid? That's all I need. All I need is literally two acids. One elite blast. That's right. I'm gonna scan this one now. Now, if you don't mind, get the hell out of here, please. Perfect. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Get the acid arrows ready. Come on. Dude. I think you're right. Wow, that was clutch. That was friggin' awesome. And we also got the right resources, anything? which is always great. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. Let me get this fellow back here. Look at all the medicine we have here as well. I'm actually really low on medicine, which is kind of surprising considering how much I freaking loot those things. But we're going to be safe here. We're going to get all the ones that we have here. We're going to stock up a little bit. I don't know what the future holds for us, but I've got a feeling it's not pretty. Oh, look at this. Very nice. Move on. Yeah, traps are so much more useful than people give them credit for, including myself. Like, man, traps are insanely useful. Especially once you start unlocking the elite ones. Like, those are crazy OP. Alright, we're gonna go up here. The hell What's is in this backpack, metal bricks? Aloy, Alma and I are closing in on the regulator. Can you post it? Made it through without a fight. It's creepy in here. Don't worry. I'll protect you. <laughs> I wish I had a glider. <laughs> I guess I'll find another way across. I'll just jump down. It's water. <laughs> right? Oh, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, well, I'm okay. Are you okay? Where do we have to go? We're supposed to be swimming here? Because I'm a little lost. Weren't we supposed to jump across or something? Hold on. I thought we were supposed to be swimming here. I guess I was wrong. Can we please leave the cave now? Hey man, I'm going. I'm trying. Jesus. I thought we were supposed to go for a swim. This is where we came from. That's where we gotta go. Okay. Goes this way. Ah, I see. I don't know why I thought I was supposed to go down below. I don't know. There's a lot of dead machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Mm. You killed many, huh? Sneak or fight, you choose. Fuck, man. I don't know how, how many more of these I'll be able to craft. To be honest. Oof, I don't know. Let's see if we can salvage some parts here. I mean, maybe perhaps these I should probably just avoid. If I'm being fair. Completely honest with myself, my abilities. Is there only one of them, or is there another one here? If it's only one, then. What should we go for it, Halo? Honestly. Let's go, they back you up. Better than any 
Hell yeah, man. This is fucking awesome. We didn't need no damn traps. What I'm talking about. The thing is that, yeah, we can avoid them. I'm sure it's not a big deal. Like it's it's doable. Definitely doable. It's the option. It's optional for a reason. But why not just loot everything, you know? Not every day you're gonna get dead ravagers and shit. I, I find that super good. Sunwing, a dead sunwing. Tired yet? Yep. Yeah. Clear those weeds. Pick it up. If you need it. Here we go. These bastards are good. Oh snap. We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. Okay. If you say so. That stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate stormbirds. But I guess that uh, got dead one man, you know. <laughs> Can't attack back, so we're good. Hey, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of the whole world? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good times. That's funny. Oh, God, more? Is there more here? Oh gosh. Uh, more spectres. All Three of them. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can craft acid traps here. No, we cannot. Ooh, this is bad. This is gonna be bad. Dude, I'm not here to fuck around. I want to fight. I want to fight that. I want to fucking fight. I'm sorry. I want to fight. Let's go. I'm here to fucking fight. Let's go. You need help, baby? Yeah, I do, but uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I ain't scared, man. Even the vertical trap might help <laughs> at this point. Selected. Oh, Aaron is down. Now my boy Aaron. He's being chewed up into pieces. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Now, of course, we've got this dumbass here interrupting my my swagger dagger, the elite combat skills. strong now. Y'all ain't that bad. Okay, hold on. Maybe I spoke too soon. It's got a poison it. Look at that thing fizzing away. It's off. Yo, Eren is legit, man. He 
such a good help. Like, much more than I anticipated. Let's push on. Nice. Let's go. Any good loot? A little. Oh uh, yeah, good loot. That's what I'm doing this for, you know? <laughs> doing it all for the loot. You know me, I'm a loot whore. Proud and screaming at the top of my lungs. Loot whore! Loot whore! Damn, I could've grabbed that weapon back there. That would've been super helpful. Here, up this rock. Hold on. Yeah, that would have been super, super helpful. Alright, so up this rock. We're almost there. Almost there, guys. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. I'll try not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Going as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. Oh my god, more of them? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous, bro. It was nice and cool the first couple times. You guys are asking huh? for too much right now. <laughs> Looks like the others have things Oh, okay, the good. They got them. Nice. They're handling that. Oh, wait. How many there's... spectres do the Zeniths have? More than one fight at once. Oh, oh God. I got the hang slide. of it now. I think I've got the hang of these specters. Poison. And the other purple damage, which I cannot think of the name right now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Fine. Totally fine. Is that, uh, you know what? Let me get that. I'm gonna need these. These specters do a whole lot of damage. Every time we get hit, whether it's a melee or whether it's one of the, um, one of the laser beams that hit us, we, we take a lot of damage. So medicine is definitely important right now. Hey, Lloyd. Alma and I are in position. Do it. Nice. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. Oh, shit. and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta. Come on, come on, come on. You have got to be kidding me. Oh. What yeah. is that? Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Oh my lord. Yo. That's like, that's like... Jurassic Park shit. <laughs> There's still a lot of specters available. Let's get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. So we have to be very careful. 
Grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. Oh, God. Okay. The Apollo database. Wait, we came from here? No, it looks similar, but no, we didn't. Hey, look. In case we don't make it, I just have one request. What is it? We had to do all this climbing. That a uh, big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. Okay. I guess not all the specters are fighting our machines. No, oh. that would have made it nice and easy. There's more? Are you kidding me, dude? I'm gonna run out of freaking ammo with these guys. Party one, it's a party you'll get, bitch. Let's go. Pick it up. Need it. Here we go. So and Baldy are fighting another special. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Bro, I'm hitting it with plasma, acid, everything. Give me your best. I think that one just hit the other one. That was hilarious. Okay, that's not hilarious. That's concerning. Nice. It hits me, man. Right now, basically, what we're doing, we're just we're just farming at this point. Now we we need more medicine, dude. Believe it or not, we need more medicine. It's kind of crazy to even say that. This way. Big jump. Right, I think. You are correct, my friend. And now to the left. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad oh. shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy! Bro, so much loot, man. This is great. Oh, she's here! <laughs> hey, 
each other and I kicked your ass. But you know what? Pals. Right, next time. It's there. It's there. Good work everyone. And another Let's one go. dead. Nice. Now we've managed to kill all of them. Quite impressed with myself. Now we've got Regala here with us too. Oh, we have even. Si oh, nice. Let me make sure that I have all this crap here. Let me reload this. This is gonna come in handy. This is the way up. Okay, so we've got to go up top from here. So we're kind of just meeting up with everyone Whoa. at this point. Look at all this zenith space stuff. Those like baseballs? That looks cool. These people really are from the future. Fuck. Oh, well, it's funny because they're not really from the future. They're from the past, but you know. redeemed nasty may Regala return peacefully to the cycle she nothing for peace at least she died on her own terms was her poet. wow man this is beautiful draws no such distinctions that's cold you sure you're not a zenith hey Lloyd. It's been intense, but Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. This is so cool looking here. <laughs> Dude, this is... This looks so cool. been causing all the fuss. Oh shit. Tilda's little pet. Silence. Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Now you're powering it up? Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it, your worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Uh, 
Are we supposed to be scared? <laughs> escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I failed to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Yo, this game is fucking nuts. Get on, man. She doesn't have her shield either, does she? She can fall off as well. Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. I would like to know how one arrow just knocked that shit down. I want I want her bow and arrow. <laughs> it's like 40 of mine. Squad back there doing their thing. I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Hey, like, Time I see fell. Apologies for that. We're okay. As long as all the hurries. I'm almost into this. the network. Just do the best you can. Okay, I'll take this. He doesn't have shield anymore, that's right. <clears throat> you got some unfinished business, little girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. <laughs> Are you against fire? And what else? I'm taking you down! So he's doing massive damage though. Yeah, dude. Oh, God. Okay, um. Was it fire as well? My fire here doesn't do much. I just have to light him up like this. Not much without your shield, are you? The other weapon is phenomenal, it's just a little bit too slow. Oh, Come here! Sir. Felt that, didn't ya? What's up now, stupid? Huh? Bro, you need to slow your roll, man. This dude is wild! <laughs> ah, shit! You don't know the hollow. Oh my god. I've got you now! Where'd he go?
Come here, stupid. Come on, come on. I have another trap here. I've got to be careful. <laughs> oh my god. I almost forgot what it was like to hurt. <laughs> oh, she's gonna take payback. <gasps> yes. Yes. Right. Yes, bitch. Payback, bro. That was so satisfying. That was so satisfying. Okay, I will be in time. Go rescue your sister. I'll leave you with the others and make sure they're all right. Don't worry, I'm I'm dying, <laughs> but it's okay. I need to find a stash or something, dude. I'm I'm super low on health. Like this is bad. Have enough resources. Looks like the machines and specters have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy Gerard just activated the self destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems, including the lift. I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have. Um. So we have to do this. Then. Man, where am I going to find uh, health, though? I'm super low. Like, this is... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to beat this game like this. I, I need health. Like, holy smokes, dude. This is kind of concerning at this point. Perfect. Baron, is everyone all right down there? Yeah, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few specters. What about the Zenus? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess when Matilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? What Alva! The hell? What's going on here? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. If she's okay. Nemesis. I wonder what that is. So all this time we thought they were they were gonna recolonize Earth, just, you know, wipe it all out and then start living here. Nice little plot twist there, I see. It's taking a little bit longer just because I'm trying to see if I find some extra crates with loot and stuff.
Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. So pretty and like modern, huh? The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of. Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zenith to Earth. Oh my god. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, cool. <laughs> Thanks. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. Wow. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. Wow. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. <laughs> Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Sweetheart, it's time to move on. Not it's... some inferior copy. It's been a thousand years. But her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. Oh my god. 
She's in love. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't <laughs> force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! What? No. What the fuck is that? I can endure. You cannot. Or I can do some damage. Oh my god. The funny thing about this is that against the lightning. None of the elements here in this uh, area that we're at can help me from her attacks. She just absolutely destroys every wall, every barrier on the ground. I gotta keep my distance from her as well. See if I keep my distance like that. I knew you didn't truly want to hurt me. All right, we're gonna power up here a little bit. You're not taking me, Tilda. Oh, that's the wrong one. Wow, that did something. Oh, nice. This specter was designed to survive against more than that. I gotta hit her middle. She, she, she's got like some sort of core in there. See that? I'm too close to her right now. I gotta step away a bit. Well, I did something. Oh, that thing's fast. Ask yourself. Yeah, she's no longer poisoned. Back. Sticks and stones against the lightning. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but sometimes Aloy, when she I'll runs against down. something, like I tend to get stuck. Like right there, I got stuck against that wall. something in there she's got some sort of core inside her belly this won't work Tilda you know what I'm gonna craft I'm gonna craft a potion here Oof. damn it you see how, how she gets stuck No, I can't craft anymore. Are you kidding me? No. No, you stupid. I think I still managed to reload. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Ah. You cannot. Oh, that's clutch. Fuck yes. Oh my god! I'm about to beat that ass, crazy ass ex girlfriend! <laughs> That's technically what it is. She's a crazy ex girlfriend. Come on, come on, come on. Execute attack pattern Sigma! Oh man, she's almost. Oh, what? Bullshit. There's no way I'm losing this. There's no fucking way I'm losing this. I'm 
on, come on, come on, come on. No. Why you do see, you, not you see, you see, she gets right stuck, dude. Stuck. somebody like that man like you gotta it's been a thousand years you, you gotta let go girl you know what i'm saying i mean time heals all apparently not for you shit disgusting super disappointed in you tilda tilda matilda all right so i'm gonna go here just grab all the resources that i can not gonna lie, it's just pretty challenging. I mean, some occasions here where I got stuck, like running towards certain things. It was quite annoying. It happened to me multiple times in the game. But Is she dead, dead. Yeah, there's some fire in there. Wow. Or watch her be alive. I swear. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along. From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, <laughs> but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database. And begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge. One with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending <laughs> a polite invitation. You're going to just take off? And abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Stay on feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, silence. But I mean, if all the Zeniths are dead, right? The Zeniths are completely gone. Wouldn't Nemesis know? Okay, they're dead. She looks okay. She looks victorious. 
As always. Aloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? He's going back, I knew it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You're staying. We need him, honestly. For a time. You people are going to need all the help you can get. Dude, there's gonna be another one. 100%. There's no freaking way that'll make another one. That just Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. fight nemesis and whatever threat it brings onto earth there's another battle ahead elizabeth very different than the one you fought It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. Oh, they buried her after all. Wow. The ingenuity to solve any problem. Ah! What the hell? Artificial fireworks. <laughs> Dude, what a game, man. Courage to overcome any obstacle. And the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. Hmm. I need two more. Wow. Garia. You guys absolutely killed it. A huge, huge. Congratulations. This game was to me honestly like a 9 9.9 .9 out of 10. 9.7. Just cuz the little bugs here and there, but if everything is kind of like you know, polished, the game was extremely polished, but those little moments that I had um dude, I just love the game. Like it's so huge and and it flows so nicely and then it's 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 a good length and yet it doesn't get boring. There's not one mission that it's boring. It's always very complex and interesting. And every character you meet has a great purpose. And that's only just the main quest, you know? From what I hear, the side quests feel like main quest. And, you know, now that we unlocked 
uh, the mountain that we have. We can literally fly around the entire world, which is so phenomenal. Let's not say this might just be one of the best looking games ever created. It might just be one of the best ones right now. Like it just this is a true next gen video game in every sense of the word. A phenomenal job. I'm so happy that I played this game and I'm so happy that I that I finished it for you guys here on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I truly hope you enjoyed it. It was one hell of a journey. We now know it's basically been confirmed. There's going to be another one. You know, it's kind of like the same thing towards the end of Horizon Zero Dawn where we were like, oh shoot, there's going to be another one. And well, here it is. It might be like a big trilogy. That's what I'm thinking. After after Nemesis arrives, we now know what the real threat is and has and always has been. Um, it's definitely Nemesis. So I do feel like once he arrives here and whatever the outcome of that's going to be, whether we win or lose, I feel like that might just be it. Unless something else arrives. Um, but you can tell they knew this was great. They knew it. That's why there is a huge possibility and opening for a third one to complete the trilogy. Or just continue the story. I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight games. I don't care. Bring them all. I'm going to play. This was phenomenal, dude. Beautiful game. Congratulations. Really, really well done. I appreciate, you know, dev teams like that that really take their time. It's been, what, like five years or so, more or less, give or take. But I really do appreciate these devs that really, really care and, and, and just put all their passion and hard work into video games. And all we do is just play them, but there's a lot that goes behind, you know, crafting something like this. I mean, all the details, the design, the story, everything has to make sense. You know, it's it's harder than it looks, I'm sure. So a big congratulations to the team. Big congratulations to PlayStation for another banger. Um, it's beautiful, dude. It's freaking beautiful. That was awesome. Singularity. Congratulations on defeating the far zenith of threats. You are now free to continue exploring and complete any unfinished quest. Activity. Thank you for playing the Horizon team. Wow. <laughs> All right, so guys, one hell of an experience. We're gonna end it here. Ah, oh, I hope we get a DLC. I want to play the DLC. This is so such a great game. But anyways, thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please drop it a like. It lets me know that you did. And I hope to catch you guys, hopefully, on the next one.